Hello everyone, Sid here back again with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to create multiple database in single Laravel platform. So friends, I have already installed Laravel in my system. If you don't know how to install Laravel, first you need to learn about how to install Laravel. I am not going to uh, show you how to install, but here are some basic steps to uh, install Laravel. If you don't know, just check out from my, uh, just check out from my blog also, I have written here. So friends. I am going to show you a realistic example basically. So once you successfully install Laravel 8 then what you need to do? Just go inside of the .env file and just copy and paste something this particular lines of code. So here just I have added second, 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 second something. So what does the meaning of this one? So we have the first, just suppose we have the variable like this one. Okay. And also we are using second variable here. So I have updated uh, MySQL1, MySQL2 something and here we have the host name, username, password something uh, and we have the database first one, database second. So what we are doing here, then I have just created a model and also I have created migration. So here I am going to show you, we have the migration here. So I have created migration name is blocks and also we have the model. Suppose we have the block name is a table and also we are storing this particular table inside the first database and also we storing the second database so we are storing both data in two table sorry two database so once you added successfully the running migration command php artisan migrate it means we are storing both at the same time okay once you successfully done this what you need to do uh, you can write this particular lines of code php artisan make let me show you uh, also i will uh, write in blog also don't worry about php artisan make colon model and model name and if you written here minus m it means your model is block and automatically also your migration will create so once your migration will create just uh, write at this kind line of code whatever um, fields you want you can add from your side so i have added lines of this code so once i successfully added here then i am going to use my model here then i applied the connection to so you can write a connection whatever connection you want so i have written connection in variable and i have applied my sql to okay so before write written this what you need to do i am going to show you my database dot uh, php inside of the database php i have added this particular of lines so you can also check out from the, there and i have it written here so you need to put here post second port second database second and user second something you need to put so don't forget once you added this kind lines of code what you need to do then i am going to use my controller inside of my controller i have written one function and i also applied this line of code uh, basically because we will fetch from the database so i have written here blog and also you need to write uh, this line of code uh, basically which database you want to use something so i have written set connection mysql2 and uh, then we have the database mysql2 i have already shown you let me is mysql2 this one okay then we are fetching data from the database and we uh, let me show you my routes web.php inside of the routes also we had added uh, here this using namespace and we uh, hitting this uh, if anyone hitting the block then we're calling this controller and this functions we have the function name like this one let me show you my blog this is my blog you can follow this step i will um, add also in description area don't worry so let me refresh this one look we are fetching data which is coming from the second database let me show you second database look we have the second database title and body something created updated time something we are fetching from here if you want to store you can also store you can fetch delete everything you can perform using this date this kind of syntax i have written here okay so if you have any doubt uh, guys and if you want to this video also if you want different video step by step also if you want to uh, every every step written by me so just put your comment below and friends 
if you have any doubt let me know and also if you i have added more uh, complicated code also if you want to uh, support your email id in description area definitely i will share with you multiple code also don't worry about so kind of cheat sheet also i will uh, share with you so please put your email id below and your name also and also i will add and telegram link so i will try and i will create telegram link something we will connect together and we will discuss about the what kind of problems we are facing so 